Fighting the war on coal, nearly two dozen lawmakers, including Representative Ed Whitfield, stood on the steps of the U.S. Capitol today, angry over new Environmental Protection Agency standards for carbon dioxide emissions. And they say it will cripple job growth and force coal-powered plants to close. Lawmakers in Washington, D.C. are calling the EPA's new carbon dioxide emission standards an outrageous assault on this country's infrastructure. The rules require coal-fired plants to capture and store a portion of the carbon dioxide they produce. Representative Ed Whitfield, who chairs the House Subcommittee on Energy and Power, says it's too costly and could result in future job loss. We're still struggling with trying to create economic growth and create jobs and remain competitive in the global marketplace. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell says Kentucky will suffer the most. He says 5,000 coal mining jobs have been lost under President Obama so far. McConnell says Kentucky is among the best states for keeping utility rates low and the changes could create bigger problems and bigger bills. We've always been among the, the five lowest in the country. That's how we get jobs and opportunity for everybody in Kentucky. It's a disaster. EPA Administrator Gina McCarthy says the new rules are, quote, flexible and achievable. Congressman Whitfield and Senator McConnell plan to file a resolution of disapproval to stop the EPA.